I honestly wish I had like a team like Nigella. This is really hard to do, hiding behind the camera and filming. Well, after weeks and weeks of the temperature being in like the low 30s, high 20s, the sun being out every single day, it's just typical that the time that I decide to come away camping on my own, it's raining. But Bentley's happy because it's a bit cooler, which is nice. And I have to say, it is quite refreshing. So this isn't my first trip on my own. I have been away on my own before. However, I haven't filmed it. So I decided to film today because I think a lot of people sometimes get a bit nervous about going camping on their own and if I can do it sat in a campsite on my own talking to a camera then I believe you can too. I'm just going to kind of show you what we do and get on with it and Bentley here is uh, very much enjoying time with just mummy because I think he needs a little bit of a break from the uh, tiny two-year-old when I can't say I blame him because I'm quite looking forward to it as well. We were Right, well, since there's a little break in the weather at the moment, I think me and Bentley are going to go for a little wander because um, this is Andart Lakes, which is just by Swanwick Marina. I just wanted to get away five minutes down the road to a place I kind of know, but where I'm comfortable, I'm chilled. I think getting away sometimes is just what you need and it doesn't necessarily need to be far. It can be really close. And it is just a case of, you know, just getting out on your own, having a bit of chill time and not really doing a lot. Obviously I'm filming today, but yeah, it's, it's a nice experience getting away on your own. And I do recommend it to everyone. I do really think it's one of those lovely things that you can do just to take some time for yourself. So me and Bentley are gonna go for a little wander. We're gonna to go to Swanwick Marina, I think, where there's a, a lovely little cafe slash bar there. And then I think we'll head back and um, then maybe think about dinner. So I'll of course link all the campsite details in the link below, but it is a lovely little spot and a really good location. So worth having a look at. Tell you what, it's a bit of a different experience coming away with Bentley when I'm not just going to have his stuff and mine, but having all the camera equipment, you would not believe the amount of camera equipment that we have now. And <laughs> quite a lot of the time, I just end up using my phone like I am right now, but I have got the drone with me, so see what sort of footage we can get. This is a lovely area right by the Hamble River. So very good for walks and things, lots of places to see and lots of things to do, especially if you like paddle boarding. This is a great area for paddle boarding or kayaking. Or well, Bentley swimming, Bentley loves swimming. I'm not sure I'm gonna let him today because uh, getting him so soaking wet in the van is not ideal.
You want to go for a swim, don't you? You're going to look for some fishes. Can you see any? He loves barking at fishes, does Bentley. Beast. Looks like something out of a Bond film. That's why I like coming to these marinas, just to have a nosy really, because I definitely can't afford any of these. But it's nice to look. I got really excited then, I thought this had a, a Bus and Beyond stripe on it. It's not quite a Bus and Beyond stripe, but it's very close. But I mean, it would look good on a boat. If anyone wants to buy us a boat, we'll put our stripes on it. Look how filthy you are. Ah. I hope you dry off later before you get in bed. Well, I am absolutely starving and um, Bentley, who has eaten by the way, is still hungry as well. So we're gonna make some dinner up. I've actually found a new recipe to try, which is quite exciting. So I'm a massive fan of macaroni and cheese. And um, when I was using the Readly app recently, which is the magazine subscription, I was looking up one pot recipes and I came across one pot macaroni and cheese. Now, usually I use the oven for it, as well as a hob and a ton of different things. So using just one pot will be quite good, really. Found it on the Readly app and uh, yeah, decided we would give it a go all together. Now we have actually been using the Readly app for actually many, many years now. And it's fantastic that Readly have agreed to sponsor this video as well. And we get to share with you how useful it is. Now, what I've done is I've actually bookmarked this. So it's super easy for me to find the one pot cookbook now this is a stove top macaroni and cheese and i will also share in the description below how you can access the readly app and through our link you can actually get two months free use it see how you get on and hopefully you'll find loads of inspiration all about fans vw scene lifestyle fashion there's everything everything is on that app so like i say we have genuinely been using this for years and we have both absolutely loved it and especially when you're away i mean there's plenty of options for you to download magazines and use them off the internet too so if you're not contactable that's a really good way to just sit have a chill flick through your favorite magazine so check out the link below that's going to take you to the readly app and that will give you two months free right let's get into making this mac and cheese If I wrote you a poem, 
If I posted a Right, well, I'm quite happy to be the taste tester, so I'm sure Bentley will want to be a taste tester too, but... Oh, that is so creamy. That is really good. I'm really pleased that worked. So yeah, big thumbs up from me. That is a really nice mac and cheese. come out it is absolutely glorious like the perfect temperature Bentley's happy because he's got a nice shady spot as well but oh it's gorgeous here really chilled there's a few more campers have arrived as well I always like that campers together <laughs> So we very often get asked what we actually take camping with us and obviously in this case we've got Bentley, we've got his lead, bowl, I've got a chair for me, a carpet, inside we have our fridge, the drone, my bag. I'll show you in the back what we generally take with us camping. Now you've got to remember in this case I'm a little bit low on stuff just because it's just me. So I've got my bag full of clothes which is pretty empty to be quite honest with you then alongside that this is the screen cover now i haven't actually brought the pop top cover this time because i didn't really see the point if it's just me and it's quite warm weather it's not really required but screen cover is required because i don't particularly like the internal screen that you get having a good roll there are you bentley bear he's got to wipe his face after his dinner so you see in the back there, it's actually not very loaded. So I've got my toilet on board because it's quite useful to just have that for night times. Then this is actually the camera bag. So that's quite important for us, but obviously not most people will have that. That's just the bag for the chair that's outside. And in there, it's not really a lot else. So we've got my duvet, which is a single duvet in this case. That's the camera stand, then the plug for the van now I don't actually need that today because with the solar panel being as it is it's pretty good at charging stuff and it's pretty capable of looking after the uh, fridge and up here is more interesting stuff so this is a lot of the cooking equipment this is for me because nice chill out got my Nintendo switch this one of the ridge monkeys this is the big pan I've just got a collapsible sink Again, there's water on board. Uh, that's just got my kettle in, another pan, because I need that to mix some cleaning equipment. Nothing too exciting in there. Chopping board, I don't actually think I need that this trip, but I brought it anyway. And in this one, I've literally just gone for what we, what I need, sorry. So I've got like one bowl, one plate, one strainer. Again, I don't think I need that. 
We've got spoons, knives, forks, again, just single options for me, a uh, cup and a teacup. But yeah, it's really, I mean, that's, that's the mattress topper that goes on top of the seats when that collapses down. So there's not really much else that I need, to be honest, in this case. Bentley's pretty happy. He's got his bowl, some food, but I mean, for one night away, I actually have done okay for once. Really don't need an awful lot. Well, I can't believe how stunning this evening has turned into and the sun setting behind me is absolutely gorgeous. So, you know what? I'm actually going to turn off the camera now, chill out, let's have a nice relaxing evening, then wake up in the morning totally refreshed, all ready for plenty more adventures in the future. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We do loads of van tours, adventures. We do our own crafter self build, which plenty more of that is coming up soon. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps us out. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will catch you all very, very soon. Cheers, bye. Silent treatment is what it feels like.